Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Lessons and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. So each day we look around the world and find one of many, many composers that have been featured by both organizations. Today it's the Russian composer Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov. Not only a composer, he also, of course, was a pianist and an amazing man, born in 1844, died in 1908. He was a master at orchestration, and certainly I know that if you listen to his orchestral music, you would be amazed at what he was doing in a time before a lot of people were as experimental as he was. He had a Russian upbringing, of course, and was in that group of composers back in the, <clears throat> excuse me, back in the 1860s, 1870s, that included Balakirev, Kui, and Mazorsky. He went in 1871 to the St. Petersburg Conservatory. He also comp wrote, he also wrote a wonderful treatise on harmony and is known, of course, also for having done two sets of folk songs, which included about 140 Russian folk songs. The same kind of thing that von Williams did in England, that Bartok did in Hungary, wanting to be sure that these folk songs were remembered. In 1895, he wrote an opera called Christmas Eve, a four-act opera. At the end of Act One, he used a number of those folk songs, and here's one of them. It's called The Carol of the Three Kings. It's a simple folk song which has various verses for the sopranos with the melody than the tenors, but you get the idea of how a folk song could be so effective in an opera. of Rimsky-Korsakov. He also composed a great opera called The Snow Maiden. Vocal Essence performed that piece in 1989 over at O'Shaughnessy Auditorium. The Snow Maiden, or in Russian, Snegurichka. It's a great piece. We did it, I thought we should do it during February because it's uh, about the snow. And it's another, of course, fairy tale. What I want to play for you is the very ending of it. If you can just imagine that this final chorus to the sun god, you have, it sounds very, very much uh, like Russian Orthodox music would be, uh, the kind of chanting that goes on. It gathers momentum, it gathers, and then finally at the end, the orchestra giving us that chant and the chorus, I can still remember, 
holding these great triumphant chords to bring the opera to a close. The Snow Maiden of Rimsky-Korsakov. Rimsky-Korsakov. Have a wonderful day.